And David Maines joins us on the line now. Dad, you've been on the road for a couple of months now. I know Mom's been with you on this leg of the Cross Canada Tour. And there's only a, a few dates left uh, and that will let people know where they are in just a moment. But how are you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I, I just finished breakfast here at something called Dave's Place in Bancroft. Actually, a breakfast and lunch combined. It's a little late, but uh, it, it was a good breakfast. <laughs> a breakfast special. Bacon and eggs over easy, Ron. It, it was good. <laughs> Anyhow, I, uh, I'm just thrilled with what's happening on the road. Uh, we were in Pembroke on uh, Monday evening up in the Ottawa Valley where Crossroads started almost 50 years ago. And uh, the, uh, we, we were entertained there at a great church. And uh, then, uh, uh, of course, they had a pumpkin out front. And I was thinking of Halloween. They hadn't put a face on it yet. But uh, I was thinking of Halloween. You know, the, uh, it's the evening before All Saints Day. And the tradition was on this, what's supposed to be known as Holy Evening. That's what hallow means, Holy Evening, was when people cleaned up their lives and people got rid of, of evil forces that were seeking to control them, addictions and all kinds of things, so that they could go into the uh, All Saints Day with, a, with a, uh, a conscience that was clear and ready to worship the Lord and become saints themselves. So uh, that was Pembroke. And then we came on down the highway here to Bancroft, where I am right now, uh, in the Pentecostal Tabernacle in Bancroft. Uh, we, uh, your mother's taking pictures, and uh, we had a great crowd here last night. Uh, wonderful enthusiasm, and of course I'm able to share the vision for the future, which uh, Ron, you, and uh, Moira, Jim, and you too, and uh, Don Simmons, our chief executive officer, and others are sharing, and it's the most exciting future uh, in the whole field of telecommunications for the future. I think it's a new beginning for the ministry of Crossroads 100 Huntley Street, uh, Ron, may God richly bless you all, and thank you for letting me check in once again. Well, Dad, you've been able to uh, say a lot of thank yous in person to people. So many are longtime faithful viewers and supporters of the ministry. And uh, we are in our membership drive, as you know. And maybe you could just give a quick challenge, maybe to, to some new members, because we know that, that the there's so many seniors that have given for so long and I talked to one on the phone the other day and, and I, I just felt uh, really um, my, my heart went out to her because she was so apologetic that I can't support anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not well and I need extra care and I can't support like I used to. And she was apologizing and I said, no, don't worry, please, please don't feel that way. God will provide through, through others. I said, we're in a membership drive right now and that he, he will take care of our needs and that uh, other people will come on board. Why don't you just pray for other people to come on board that can help take your place? And so maybe, Dad, just before you say goodbye, just a quick challenge to people. Well, uh, you know, I'm trying my best to call people. Now, I don't get everybody. Sometimes there's no answer. Sometimes uh, the, I've got the wrong number and all kinds of things. But I'm so I called uh, here in Bancroft before, um, uh, uh, you know, I for uh, yesterday, and uh, I came across a lady who's 88 years old, and. Uh, her son uh, was paralyzed in a car accident back uh, in 1993, and he he's just uh, in bed. Uh, his he does, his hands are, don't work, and uh, had a leg uh, removed as a result of the accident. And uh, uh, the, the sister, uh, married sister with children and grandchildren, of course, uh, is the caregiver. So anyway, I went over into the room where this partner's son was and uh, I walked in and he looked at me and it was kind of oh, oh it's David Maines you know no big deal well then your mother walked in and apparently he had listened and listened and listened to Norma Jean's music and when he saw Norma Jean his eyes brightened up and tears came to his eyes and his mother had told me he, he doesn't speak uh, uh, at least not much and he looked at Norma Jean wide-eyed and he said Norma Jean, and she bent over and kissed him twice, and, and you know what it means to people. We, Ron, we who are on the lens side of the camera, we have no idea of what 100 Huntley Street, that daily visit. It's not pulpit evangelism. A lot of people wonder what we're doing. It's visiting people. That's what you're doing every day on 100 Huntley Street. You're visiting people. You're bringing your friends that come to visit Crossroads Center. <laughs> you bring them in to visit people. 
and there's such encouragement and ministry and the music and all of that. And so I, I just, uh, it's just so valuable uh, what you're doing and what you're continuing to do that I'm so proud to be representing Crossroads 100 Huddy Street out on the road these days that I certainly do challenge everybody who's ever had any blessing. I mean, we're pushing up to 10 million phone calls uh, one of these days uh, on, on our prayer lines. And everybody that's ever had any kind of a blessing uh, or, or just thought somebody else is getting a blessing, I, I want to ask you to go to your phones, jump in there and, and help, because right now there's a huge challenge ahead to take the new media, uh, the new media uh, of the telecommunications world, where the young people are. That's where they are. They're not watching traditional television. We need to take this for Christ and get out on the leading edge and stay there. And with God's help, that's what's going to happen. So God bless you all. All right. Thanks so much, Dad. God bless you. Um, let's just give the, the last few tour dates where, where you're going to find David Mains. These are the last three of this current leg of the tour. Uh, Friday, October 29th, Faith Baptist Church in Huntsville. Uh, Monday, November 1st, Fellowship uh, Baptist in Perry Sound. And then Wednesday, November 3rd, Wellington Street Pentecostal Church in Bracebridge. So if you're in those areas, uh, 7.30 p.m., uh, go, come on out and say hi to David and Norma Jean Maines. Dad, thanks again. Thank you. God bless. Okay, bye-bye.